Hello and welcome back to PCS Electronics. Today we're on the test bench with a Magnum MS 4024. Uh, so 4000 watt, 24 volt inverter. Um, I'm just going to show you very quickly uh, how we go about testing this. And I also want to just show you the difference between this and a, an inverter, a standard inverter that might go into an RV. This is a, an inverter that would go into an off grid cabin or a, a home, uh, maybe even in conjunction with a solar system. Um, the difference being that this one runs on 240 volt split phase, the kind of power you have in your home, and an RV inverter would have a single phase input and output in most cases. Uh, and you wouldn't use something like that uh, normally in a home, you would, might use it for a really small cabin in the woods. But this is the type of inverter you would use uh, for household type power and the biggest difference you'll see is if you look at the output of this transformer you'll see it has four wires coming out and that's because it has two phases um, of 120 volts each and then they're tied together with the neutral being in the middle and that gives you your split phase 240 just like you have in your home um, okay so we put that power coming out of that inverter into our our standard box that I'll show you here in a second and right now let's get the inverter turned on here's the remote I'm just going to turn the inverter on we'll watch the silo coming up okay sine waves coming up there we got 244 volts 24 volts coming in this is our battery pack here on the top for a 24 Right now I don't have a whole lot of load on it. I've got uh, maybe 1,000 watts. We're running 46 amps. Okay. I'll do that. Okay, bye. And our load box right now is just set for 1,000 watts. Uh, let's go around here. I'm going to show you what we've done. Is The output from our bench comes into this um, electrical box with a standard breaker box with two sides to it. And then we come out of that into our outlets which then we plug in our load box. So the idea is here I'm I'm replicating this you know the wiring that you might have in a home and allowing me to place loads on it. So with the inverter running uh, again we can we can up the load if we want with our box here. There's another 1,000 watts, so now we're up to 90 amps, 92 amps. And I will run tests on this inverter, but mainly I wanted to show you, and I have another video where we did a more extensive uh, video on, on how we run the tests on this bench. This one I just wanted to highlight the differences of this inverter to a, uh, one you might find in an RV. Um, so the main difference is it has a split phase 240 out. I actually have a 240 volt double pole breaker coming into this inverter and that powers it for when uh, you might have a generator hooked to this to bring that kind of power into it. So right now we are on just the batteries and it's inverting and what I can do is if I go ahead and switch on my breaker, this would simulate uh, either you have utility power coming in or you have a generator that's started up. So that brings in 240 and you'll see this remote blink saying I see the, the voltage coming in. And now it says it's charging so it'll use that power from either the generator um, or utility to then charge the batteries and we'll see the the charge current come up here in a second after a delay there it goes so now it's charging the batteries 33 amps so that that is a inverter for off-grid purposes you can actually parallel these inverters for more power um, through a network and um, you can have them operate a generator control system and so on so that's why I wanted to show you this particular type of inverter so thanks for watching and look for more videos on uh, tests that we do on different inverters.